Tonight, we dine with dinosaurs. Let's eat. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you're watching the Theme Park Foodies and we have just braved Hurricane Ian down here in Florida. And I just wanna, our thoughts go out to everyone uh, that has been affected by it. Uh, we were very lucky where we lived. Yeah, we're very, very lucky. Yeah, we didn't lose power or anything. Um, and the roads were, were pretty decent. Uh, we, we saw, you know, we were gonna, we we're thinking about doing a video on our experience with Hurricane Ian, but we're just, as new Floridians, it wouldn't have been uh, probably a good video to show because we did a lot of wrong things. <laughs> uh, we tried to fill up our bathtub, uh, but we realized that the plug in the bathtub, like, so that way straight. we could flush the toilet. Our yeah, thing we too, so we couldn't fill our. Yeah, stuff. thankfully we didn't lose power. Uh, we bought, like, we thought we were buying on perishables. I bought soup, not realizing if I didn't have electric, I wouldn't be able to heat up soup. So we just had a bunch of cans of soup now. Well, uh, definitely we'll be more prepared <laughs> for next time for sure. Yeah. But again, my th our thoughts go out to everyone that's been affected by Hurricane Ian. Uh, in the uh, Florida area. Uh, today, we were able to get a reservation to T-Rex Cafe, which we've never eaten at. So we are dining with dinosaurs. Survived a hurricane, dining with dinosaurs. Yeah, so hopefully we'll survive the extinction event. Wearing a sweatshirt <laughs> when it's 80 degrees. We're like real... <laughs> yeah, you're, she's cold. I I'm feel like cold. it's a good temperature this is the right this is I haven't felt cold air like this <laughs> in six months. So yeah. it feels extreme to me, <laughs> even if it's not to other people. Yeah. Well... Just, now that okay, we're gonna shut up. <laughs> well, we're, we're not gonna shut up. We're gonna oh. keep talking. But where is T-Rex Cafe, Sam? It's the, in Disney Springs. Yes, but but it's located someplace that is very close and near and dear to our hearts. Yes. Paddlefish. Where? Yes, we got married at Paddlefish. So questioning me like I forgot where we got. Well, married. I just wanted to give you a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, so it's right across from Paddlefish. Um, it's kind of near the marketplace section, and uh, you get right at the front. You see a big giant T-Rex skeleton and as you go in you can see animatronic dinosaurs everywhere i believe it's operated by the same uh, people that operate uh i was about to call it zootopia the rainforest cafe uh but their rainforest cafe is a chain there's so many of them i think there's only one t-rex cafe right i honestly don't know i will correct myself in the lower third if there isn't but if you don't see anything in the lower third right now this is the only t-rex cafe that there is which is why it's really appealed like to us there's gotta be more i think there's only one uh there's definitely less than there are uh rainforest cafes but we're gonna go in, we're gonna see the animatronic dinosaurs and they have really cool themed yeah, menus. The menu is making yeah. me laugh. Like yeah. the names are really cute. Yes, they're all dinosaurs. Brontosaurus salad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brontosaurus burger. I'm looking at that Brontosaurus My burger. My favorite dinosaur when I was younger was the Stegosaurus. Ooh. I didn't see any Stegosaurus yeah. themed entrees, so I'm a little upset about that. I think, believe they do have a bar too. Uh, they have they stroller do. parking actually right to the left uh, as you walk in, you face the front entrance. Uh, and they uh, they have some themed drinks and some themed co uh, I was like, I was like cocktails, mocktails, mocktails as well. So I'll definitely be trying on a mocktail or a cocktail. And I might need something stronger. stronger. Maybe fun stronger. Yeah, okay, okay. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us while we dine with dinosaurs here at Disney Springs. So there is a line for check-in and there is also a secondary line once they text you when you are checked in. Oh, that sign T-Rex has immediate seating at our shark bar. Yes, so that's the bar here, the shark bar. And they have this cool Jeep. Yes, T-Rex wands. This is like the perfect spot if you have a kid that's obsessed with dinosaurs. Yeah, they're selling tons of wands. <laughs> and they have this cool Jeep here um, that has some little toy dinosaurs there in the window and some plushes. It's really nicely themed. And it looks like they have a waiting area over here to the right. Uh, where you can just kind of like sit and relax in the shade, which is very important here in Florida. Looks like they do have a build a dino workshop, kind of like a build a bear workshop. You see right uh, back there. Oh man, look at that giant Tyrannosaurus Rex that greets you as you come in. The gift shop here is quite expansive and it's centered around a sun and uh, kind of like a model of the galaxy. This is the build a dino workshop. In here, you can see they have the fluff to build your dino. And then uh, you could pick different scents. They have little, actually, shoes for kids. So it's an extension of the gift shop in here. Oh no, I think these shoes are for your dino. 
So you would start over here, and then you would pick your build, and what type of dinosaur your kid wants to make. And then you can pick their shoes, outfits, and accessories. I'm reading you because it is his cafe. It is T-Rex Cafe. Although he's invited his friends, like this giant squid, and it looks like, like a woolly mammoth. Yeah, the, the shark bar looks really cool. It has like a whole aquarium in it. All right, we are all checked in, and we are heading in to the T-Rex Cafe. Oh, that's so cool. They got fire going on back there. It's a little T-Rex greeting you. Oh, it's got a Tyrannosaurus Rex sign right there. There's an ice cave room. Oh, and we're, we're right next to the Kitchen of Fire. This is cool, right? Oh, wow, the ice cave changes colors when the extinction event happens. You can see all the dinosaurs are getting worked up, except for that guy. That guy, I think, is just chilling during the extinction event. Oh, you can hear it. Will we make it? We're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. We made it. All right, so we walked right into the extinction event. And it got loud. Like, if they, they sing happy birthday, they sing happy birthday here, you know? I see a lot of celebrations going on here. Yes, um, and the me there's an insane amount of menus. I felt overwhelmed. Yeah, <laughs> they have a bunch of brand new options. Um, I, I, this, this one has like all the new stuff. Yeah. Then there's a big drink menu. Then there's a special mocktail menu. Yeah. Then there's like... Well, the mocktail menu has Rainforest Cafe, T-Rex Cafe, um, and Yak and Yeti drinks because they're all owned by the same company. I mean, they're really advertising their stuff. I kind of want that chocolate extinction. Yeah. I was going to go for a burger, but the burgers are apparently like Smash Burger. I enjoy a Smash Burger, but I, I can get a Smash Burger anywhere I go. I might go for the Jurassic Trio, because that's, that, that was what was suggested to me by our waiter. Uh, what are you feeling, Sam? I have no idea, because there's <laughs> honestly like way too many options. We got the, um, the meatballs for an appetizer. I don't know if that's a good idea. Like, no, that's a fine idea, Sam. I would think they would. All right, food and drinks are here. The meatballs, the meatball skillet. And Sam, what drink did you get? I got the tropical painkiller. What? Tropical painkiller. It's very loud in here. Yes. So uh, what is in it? It looks really good. Uh, it's pineapple vodka, uh, pina colada, and I think it looks like some tropical juices. Nice. Yes, I keep my class too. I got the uh, watermelon lemonade. They have a collection series uh, with all the places that Rainforest Cafe runs at Disney. Yaki and Yeti T-Rex Cafe and the Rainforest Cafe. I got the T-Rex Blinky Cup. You know how to get a Blinky Cup. Sam trying out her. <laughs> so how is it? It's a you said it was tropical punch? Yeah, it's like citrus juices, pina colada, pineapple vodka. Okay. It's like mild refined. It's like my go-to. Every video I have a drink that's very similar, has like the same ingredients, just with a different name. What would you give it? One out of ten. Does it taste the same? Does it taste better? It tastes really good. It tastes like you could just keep sipping it. <laughs> I already feel better. I legitimately feel better. Yeah, how's that shark bar doing? You yeah. know? Seven sounds, seven suffices. Okay, so this is my Blinky Cup by Watermelon Lemonade. It's like we're at HHN with Blinky like Cups. We are, we are at a dinosaur themed restaurant. Oh, right here. I don't know how to turn it off. Did it just blink forever? Um, it's okay, I'll do it a five. Uh, but this, Sam, this looks very good. These it is very hot. That skillet is crazy I'm hot. Now some stuff. I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. This looks very good though. The focaccia looks fresh. So I appreciate the size and the flavor. Better sauce in some places we've been recently. Better sauce in pizza stuff. 
Hey, 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 hey. It is so loud in here. Yeah. Are you about to go extinct, Sam? I'm going somewhere. <laughs> this is our third extinction show. And it's a birthday, like every <laughs> five minutes. We have a lot of birthdays here today. Someone's birthday where this is going on. <laughs> we did get our food. I got my Jurassic Trio, and Sam got the chicken sandwich. Tri it's Triassic? I thought it was Jurassic. Okay. All right. Well, I want to hear all that chicken sandwiches. Okay, Sam. Let's see how the chicken sandwich is. What? This place is wild. Yeah, I like it. You would like it. <laughs> so I got the Paleozoic chicken sandwich. It is lemon panko crusted chicken, brioche bun, and I think that there is a pesto mayo on it. Ooh. Pesto mayo. Like, you know, pesto, mayo. You know, pesto in a title, and I, I go for it. Yes. about to try her chicken sandwich. I feel like a Tyrannosaurus eating here. The meatballs, the meats, my, my trio. Also, my cup has a projection on it. I didn't even realize. So if you get those blinky cups, they have a projection for each of the different spots, whether it be Yak and Yeti, uh, uh, T-Rex Cafe, or Rainforest Cafe. And there's also three different dining sections. There's the Geotech dining, they have like an ice cave, um, and obviously there's the shark bar, and there's almost like a rainforest section. So how is your chicken sandwich? It's pretty decent. Yeah? I like, the, I like the little, there's like a hint of lemon in the chicken, which I like. I know you don't like that. I like it on my fish. Honey mustard. Thank you. Oh, Sam got some honey mustard. <laughs> you need wet foods. A little more protein. Let me a little more juice. More topping. It's like a piece of chicken, though. It's decent. That's the best chicken sandwich. I would go six. Six sounds good. Right, so this is the Jurassic Trio. It looks awesome. Um, so it's got a sirloin steak. I have some shrimp. I have some raptor rice. This, I feel like this is like dinosaur Applebee's. Yes. Well, I think it's a little higher end. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yes, it's sir. very similar. It has like a similar vibe. Thanks. I got another. You get two rounds of that drink. This is the water. water but they like made. they don't put it back in the souvenir cup. Like they wash out the cup for you and yeah. then just put you. And, and I would give it a solid six action now because you see this watermelon. It's at the bottom. Once you get to that bottom part, it's a lot better. All right, so let's uh, let's cut into the trio, shall we? It looks good. I uh, had this steak cooked medium rare. Oh wow, look at this salmon. Perfect. That's a perfect medium rare. It's somebody's birthday. Who knew? I hear it again on the other side. I really, everyone comes here for their birthday. Now it's fair one. It could benefit from a little bit of fat. Jason was chewing for about yeah. two minutes. Instead of dipping in the sauce, I'm gonna try to put a little bit of sauce on it. Okay. Now what's in that sauce? It's a white wine sauce, I think, actually. But you would think, wow, crazy, you're gonna white wine sauce T-Rex Cafe. There's full of surprises here. That's the key, I guess. Dip it in the sauce. Now we have a shrimp skewer. It's cute. You got a lot of green beans. You have a nice uh, ice cave behind you. You have a nice backdrop. With a little raptor rice. Raptor rice. I like the shrimp. I like the steak. Everything is solid. No 
got the effect. The sauce is very good. It's almost like a honey mustard. The fries are trash. I'm sorry. They're just like frozen, no seasoning at all. The fries are a five. The fr I don't know. I'm giving. I'm going. I'm going three. I like this, this shrimp skewer a lot. The shrimp is good. The steak is okay. Very well cooked. Very well prepared. I give mine a solid seven. Those fries I'll give a five. To this. No, I give the fries a three. They're they're. <laughs> there's nothing special about them. You know, but for this, the green beans are in the other. Is it exceptional? No. Is it well prepared? Yes. Now they do have this really cool dessert called Chocolate Extinction. <laughs> yeah, Sam wasn't up for it. So maybe we'll come back to, you know, have extinction by chocolate. I feel I feel like getting a little extinct, you know? Yeah, but I think we were gonna stop on the way out for dessert. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh yeah. All right, so you have to end with dessert. I never tried the Everglaze Icon, so I'm gonna try the. Uh, this is their signature donut. There were a lot, a lot missing because of the hurricane. I wanted to try the Mounds one, but this is their uh, classic donut or their namesake. The donuts are very sweet. So if you're not looking for a sweet donut, it's not for you. It's very, I mean, for me, I like sweetness. It's very good. I'll give that like a solid, like, eight for me. But it's, again, it's very sweet. So if that's not your flavor, that's not for you. All right, so this is for our time here at Disney Springs Dining at T-Rex Cafe. And, Sam, you actually know because I tried this off camera. I tried the signature Everglaze donut, the namesake donut. Have you ever seen it? It's blue. You're going to see it when you go edit this video. It was pretty solid. I actually saved you a little bit. I, I had no idea you ate a donut. <laughs> yeah. Legitimately. <laughs> I did it in secret. You know, only you guys know. Uh, but I really enjoyed T-Rex Cafe. Is it the best food in Disney Springs? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, best atmosphere, though, it's definitely up there uh, for best atmosphere. I really enjoyed the environment. It's very loud. Uh, it's definitely a kid's restaurant, that's for sure. Uh, it's and, impressive. I yeah. like the different areas. I yeah. like the aquariums. Yeah, the animatronic um, dinosaurs, the ice cave. There's also, there was also a booth that had like an amethyst geode like into the wall yes. behind it, which I really liked. They had crystals everywhere. I wanted to get shots of those that you won't see B-roll of it because they were all very close to, or at least the ones yeah, I saw were close to... Yeah, they want to go to someone's to table while they're tables, eating. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. There are crystals right next to your table. Yeah, uh, animatronic dinosaurs, uh, T-Rexes, There was a table that was like in the body of a triceratops. Yes. There was like a booth. It was very interesting. Yeah, it, I had a really uh, great time exploring the area, seeing the shows. The food was okay. I don't think the food was bad. It was definitely on Rainforest Cafe level, which I enjoy to an extent. Rainforest Cafe, it's but it's not my go-to. If I'm in Disney, Applebee's. yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't care what I think does. it's better than Applebee's. I would definitely give it a higher really mark like than Applebee's. Applebee's. I enjoy Applebee's, but that steak is definitely way better than Applebee's steak. Um, although I didn't try your chicken sandwich, so maybe that was on Applebee's level as far as chicken sandwich go. The fries were definitely Applebee's level fries. I think Applebee's has better fries. <laughs> well. You know, if you want to go and find out, um, it's still, I do think like, actually obviously they're obviously kids are gonna love that. Yeah, it's definitely a kids' restaurant. It definitely has great atmosphere, and the food is okay. Although we never had chocolate extinction, Sam. I so saw I am them holding bring you to going back to try that. Table and it was crazy. Like there's smoke <laughs> coming out of it when they yeah. bring it to. You. I thought it'd be cool, but we could you always need come to back. For four people. Yes, and and get extinct with some chocolate. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow and push this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out. Which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Yeah, that really good pan out today because, um, yeah, it's a garage. I mean, there's the AMC sign, and uh, we're leaving. But we had a great time, and I'm happy they have this back end open uh, at Disney Springs. It's definitely cool seeing some animatronic dinosaurs.